Good, good morning, everybody, and I'm going to start a new series of videos on uh, CloudKit, Apple CloudKit, which is a way of storing data on the cloud, and in particular, iCloud. To get started, I'm just going to give you an overview of what is a CloudKit. So I'm going to use Apple documentation. If you go to Google and type in CloudKit Apple, then you will get the first thing is CloudKit Apple Developer. There are two things of interest to us here, which is the CloudKit dashboard and enabling CloudKit in your app. I'm going to start with this one, so give you an overview of what is a CloudKit about. All right, so what is a CloudKit? <clears throat> The Cloud Kit is a way, a framework that allow you to store data on the cloud. Now, this is very similar to other technology that are available in the market. For example, Parse used to be there, uh, or if you have your own server. But the nice thing about this is that you don't have to do any server coding. It's all done by Apple, and all you have to do is that use the classes, the framework that is given to us and you're able to serve, uh, store some data on the cloud. How it works, when you create an app, you can enable your app to use the cloud kit. And once you do this, you will get a container on the cloud. In this container, you can have a database, or databases, if you will. There are two databases. One of them is a public database, and one of them is private. <clears throat> What's the difference? The public database is everybody, everybody have access to that. So once you install, in, uh, if you have, in, if you if you insert records into this database, then anybody that have that uses that app can access this. If you have, you can also have access to private database where you can create your own database for a particular user, and that is that data is for that user uh, only. All right. So to get it set up. You, of course, you have to have an Apple developer program uh, membership. You create an S code project. You enable, you enter your ID in the preferences. This is usually uh, using a wizard. It does it for you. Uh, and uh, the last thing is that you enable your app sandbox the capabilities that you want to use the cloud kit. And if you go to the project properties, capabilities and then here you will have an option to enable cloud kit you, you switch it on and then you can enable the cloud kit all right so what kind of information can uh, on addition to this let's get to the dashboard what is a dashboard a dashboard is a way it's like a council of your of the database so you can for example look at the schema you have database schema you can look at the data in here and uh, you can query and search and all of that in here. So you can set up your database here on the cloud, in the uh, dashboard, or you can do it within your application programmatically. Now, you can click on the dashboard by, by executing it from here, if you know the uh, URL, or within the app here, you click on uh, CloudKit dashboard, and then that will take you to the dashboard. All right, so what kind of information can you store? We're going to skip this part. Let's go to the database schema itself. What kind of things can you store in the database? Well, practically anything that you can have in your app can be stored in the Cloud Kit. And the Cloud Kit is very similar to the core data. But instead of saving it on the locally, you can save it on the cloud. So we've seen NS data before. We've seen in the previous videos NS date, NS number for double. You can have double field, integers. These are new location and assets. We'll talk about those in a minute. String and array. All right. Let's start with the location. A location is if you know geo, uh, if you know the if you use the geocoding or. Uh, the core location before you know that to get a look you, you, you can store information as CLL location so you can store this in the database too and the nice thing about it <coughs> you can query by using this CLL location 
to get to filter data, which is great uh, if you're doing apps that depends on uh, positioning. All right. Also, you have reference. A reference is a relationship field that it's a foreign key. Think about it. If you know a database, it's a foreign key that ties two tables together. All right. And uh, this one is uh, of interest to us because it's called asset. Many times you want to store information, an image or a video or an audio file associated with a particular record. So you have a new way to do it, which is CK asset. The nice thing about this, this is Yes, it is a binary data file that is stored, that is associated with that table, that record, but it's stored separately. And why is that important? Important? It's important because of um, performance issues. You don't want to download. If you just, <clears throat> if you're querying the data, you get a list of data, and after that, what happens is that you want to download the images separately, asynchronously. So you see part of the data and the images are downloaded as they come. All right. So that is why uh, I, I think this is a great tool to store images, but they're in different file, but you have a link to them in your record. And here is an example of uh, Apple provides, which is like to talk about references. You have the artist. And that artist have artwork, one to many relationship, and it could have multiple artwork. And then you have the artist, which is a foreign key to this guy, uh, a foreign key that is tied to this table. All right. Now, the examples that I've seen here, unless they're somewhere else, uh, they're all uh, Objective C. So you can translate them to Swift if you want, or you can watch these videos later on to, uh, so you, and that way you don't have to translate the Objective C. All right. We're done with this video. In the next video, we'll do an example. We'll start our example. All right. And we'll talk about the dash dashboard when we get to it, and we'll start data looking at the data, and then we will uh, do some coding to insert some data on the uh, on the uh, cloud. All right, I will see you in the next video.